What's going on YouTube? This is Josh Cunningham, Jay Cunningham0295, Cunningham Sickles, back with another video. This one is going to be a species profile on a tank I have downstairs, or you'll see in the video, Cyprochromus leptosoma mapalungu, aka Blue Flash Cyprochromus, and my Neolamprologus similis. So currently there's five uh, described species of Cyprochromus. There's Cyprochromus leptosoma, you have Cyprochromus microlepidotus. Cyprochromus pavo, Cyprochromus zanatus, and Cyprochromus coloratus. So, and then there's four undescribed forms, which are your Cyprochromus species leptosoma jumbos, your Cyprochromus species leptosoma katumbas, Cyprochromus species leptosoma kagomas, and Cyprochromus species kabashis. So, there's a bunch of different types of Cyprochromus. Uh, currently they run in numbers of more than 10,000 individuals in their schools. The schools consist of more than a single species and not uncommon to find three different Cyprochroma species together in one school. Like Leptosoma, uh, Pavo and Leptosoma Jumbo will all school together. Unfortunately a lot of plankton, eating a lot of plankton in the lake is what they forage their main diet, uh, you know, feeding side to side. So they hang closer to rocky substrates. Schools consist of territorial males, which appear to be more sedimentary, and the ripe females ready to spawn also found in such gatherings. Males remain at a fixed distance from their neighbors in the lake, which can be up to any of the four Cyprochroma species. The third type of schooling consists of mouth brooding females, and altogether they usually consist of a single species Mixed schools have been seen as well. You know, one thing with SIPs is impressive when in the lake if you could observe thousands of males defending their territory in midwater, they stake out their domains about a hundred centimeters apart, and their neighbors may be different different uh, Cyprochroma species or conspecific males of a different color. The males will remain consistently in, in the midwater and define boundaries of their premises in relation to the distance from their neighboring males. Females will continue to be courted, and as they enter the male's territory, spawning begins. So in my tank, you'll see the Cyprochromus are at a top to midwater uh, fish, and then I have my Neolamprologus similis, which is a shell dweller, similar to the Neolamprologus multifasciatus on the bottom. I have four, ter four territories carved out in the bottom with shells with some bigger rocks to break up the sites for my Neolamprologus similis and there is fry in the tank as you'll see in the video and I also have um, the Cyprochroma species Mupalungu aka Blue Flash that swim on, on top of them and with the Blue Flash there is multiple colored males there's some yellow tail males and then there's some all blue males that are starting to form in the group so again, this is a species profile on Cyprochromus mainly, but in my tank you will see Neolamprologus similis. Awesome shell dweller if you get a chance to work with it. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, like the video, do what you do. Um, and I'll come back with another video on a different species profile, probably of a Lake Malawi, Haptochromus this time. Thanks for watching and subscribing.